So good afternoon, March the 17th, 2016. This is CISG 113, Section 1, Information Security and Privacy. Today is day number 16 in the week number 8. It is a very important day for learning culture and number 3. So let's get started. Good afternoon and welcome back to today's class, day number 16 in the week number 8. And you know that since we share with you, ever since last Thursday, and also share with you this past Monday, starting from today, one in two wins from today until the end of learning contract number three, we're going to use this classroom format. I'm going to speak from 10 minutes, and actually not more than 10 minutes, but five to 10 minutes, to give you some briefings, just like what I'm doing now. And then each task force will be given a maximum of two minutes for your spokespersons to come up here to brief the whole class what your task force problem is, what your task force has accomplished ever since last class, and what your task force is going to accomplish before the end of this week. Okay? It's very important that you select a spokesperson now. And then, after all five task forces have given the briefing for the whole class on the issues that I just mentioned, you will have 20 minutes time to organize yourself in class as a task force. Remember, you have two teams to sequence the activity to make sure you sort things out. Then, I will give each task force a maximum of 10 minutes, but normally it's between 5 to 7 minutes for all your members to come up here. But those members who are not ready to talk, they will be seated here, and the spokesperson is going to introduce each member to the class, including mention briefly your task force problem, and then introduce each speaker from your task force to talk about very briefly what he or she is responsible for and also what he or she has accomplished and what he or she is going to accomplish before the end of the week. So that is a very important in-class sharing because each member from each task force is counted as one incident of in-class sharing. All right, and you can use this instance to claim your score two semester points per sharing. And since we're going to have five times of such sharing until the end of learning contract number three, so I assume if all of you are going to do it, each one of you here is going to accomplish at least five times of in-class sharing, add them together with those in-class sharing you have already done and you are going to do after learning contract number three, it's going to be very good because you're going to have 20 semester points already. Okay? So but make sure your message is clear and concise and relevant enough because this is the first time we're going to share and you have the second time which we have to check. And so in each task force which contains two teams, and in each team we're going to have a secretary and also have a tracker. Now the secretary and the trackers need to keep track of what each member has to say and keep track of what each member said, what he's going to do and accomplish. Because that is what you have to do as a tracker and secretary. And remember, at the end of today's class, you should have enough material to put into your meeting minutes for this week. You need to produce three meeting minutes for this learning contract. One for this week, one for next week, and one for the last week. Okay? The meeting minutes is mainly about what you are going to do and what you have done in the two class hours of the each week, uh, together with some of the decisions made, okay, actions to be taken, and allocations of tasks. So I'm not going to speak any further. I've already spoken for six minutes already. I give you four minutes to select a spokesperson for your task force. And it's very important, all the task force members 
from your team, from your task force, must be here in order to accomplish the job. All right? If you have any questions, you can raise your hand and come to your desk. But in the meantime, it's very important that the five task force here, you have to sit together as a task force by putting together the two teams you have. Okay? And make sure you designate a spokesperson. I suggest that you can put together two tables together if the table is not large enough to host eight persons. But you need to sit together, the two teams which form the task force. Remember that? And then you designate a spokesperson. Yes, go. Don't worry. You're free to go. All right? So you have less than five minutes time to select a spokesperson. And get ready what you're going to read the whole class today. Okay? Very important. Actually, the, the hexagonal tables are good enough for eight persons. So, what you need to do is to organize yourself. All right? Thank you. 
Message from last week to this week, we are going to use a different kind of classroom format in which you have to work together during the classroom for the problem that you select last week. Okay, and this past Monday, the two teams of your task force came together. So one team with one proposal, the other team with the other proposal, and I asked you to select one out of the two. Okay, and many. The task force has already given me your proposal last time. So what you need to do now is now your task force has one proposal to work with. Okay? So how do you work with that proposal? You need to organize yourself. And according to this message, in a task force you have two teams. And according to the instruction last week, each team must have some roles. That means each team must have a coordinator, each team must have a secretary. Each team must have a liaison member. Each team must have a tracker. So now you have two teams. That means you have two set of these people, okay, in your task force. So the question is, how do you start working with your task force problem, which you mentioned, gave it to me last Monday, this past Monday. 
So today, what you need to do is, you need to work this out in class. But before you work this out in class, each task force adds a, a sense of responsibility, must start out with selecting a spokesperson. The spokesperson will speak for the whole task force. For example, in a minute, the spokesperson is going to come up here alone to tell the whole class what your task force problem is. Okay? You, as you mentioned, on Monday, you have already select a problem. And then, after that, how this problem is going to be handled in your task force. How this problem is going to be handled in your task force. Remember, each proposal is going to be presented in the form of the title. Three specific questions. Okay? Three to five relevant references and a simple paragraph of not more than 200 words. You know that because you did it in learning contract number one, right? Okay? So now, when you say that your task force has already found one topic to work among all the members in your task force, what you need to do next is to come up with some questions of your proposal, okay? In your individual proposal, you have three questions. But now, since your task force has so many people, my suggestion is you need to select four questions under the topic, okay? So the work you need to do afterwards in the class today is to come up with four specific questions related to the topic of your task force question. That is what you need to do today, okay? But before that, when the spokesperson come up here, that is the job of the spokesperson to tell the whole class what your task force problem is. Okay? Briefly, not in the sense of structured questions, because you told us on Monday what your question is already. Okay? And the second thing you need to do when you come up here is to introduce the member of your task force. Afterwards, look at that. After 20 minutes of preparations, Today, each task force is going to be given from 5 to 10 minutes to help the whole class understand how your task force is going to be organized and encompass the topic. Okay? So, what you're going to do today when you sit together is to make sure you have the problem. Okay? Remember, you have explained to us the problem on Monday. What's that problem? Do you remember? Or you just say, you can forget. That's the reasons why you need to have a secretary to keep track of what you said. So you now have, actually, both time. You now have, I'll give you five more minutes to organize yourself to make sure you remember what problem you mentioned. Okay? Do you remember what problem you mentioned? Last Monday, this past Monday. Do you remember? Team by your team, right? So each team has a problem, right? And then I ask you, now you have two problems from your task force, which one you're going to work with? And towards the end of the Monday, you say we have this one, we select it, right? So now you have to select one problem, what are you going to do next? The question is, you need to organize yourself. How do you organize yourself? And I said, you have to create some roles. You have two coordinators, one for each team. You have two secretary, one for each team. You have two liaison members, one from each team. And you have two policy partner, one from each team. Now, but all the team members are scared to be involved to investigate the problem. So, how do you start investigating the problem? Your job today is to come up with four subsequent questions related to your problem. Okay? So, that is what you need to do today. But after that, what are you going to do? I you read this message. Okay, prepare one to two minutes say as a spokesperson. Who's going to be the spokesperson? Select one spokesperson. Do you remember when you share your class, you must tell your compositions, your task force number one, your two teams, two teams number, and then questions. Okay, briefly tell us what the question is about. 
Okay? And then tell us a little bit about how you organize yourself. When you meet one time every week, then you meet virtually from the school and other or some other region. The first way is to that's a sports book is very simple. Okay? Is it okay? Alright. Task Force 4. 
and with uh, team 19 and team 5. Uh, and uh, our topic is uh, chosen from the week 9 meeting list. Uh, what is uh, the computer crime? Uh, based, uh, based on this uh, topic, uh, our team raised uh, four questions. The first is the definition of the computer crime. It uh, contains the history of it and also the people define the computer crime and also the same things. And uh, the second question is uh, we can give us some, some bad effect uh, due to the uh, computer crime. The third question is to give some uh, major examples of the computer crimes in history and in the world. And also, th and, uh, there are consequences of these examples. The last uh, question is uh, how to protect us from the computer crime? How to uh, is it uh, to maintain some software or uh, and the, the basic things to do to prevent the computer crime for, for us? That's all. Thank you very much. Excellent. That's what we need to do as a spokesperson for the task force, the town hall class. What number is the task force? What are the two teams included in your task force? The topic of your task force proposal and different issues your task force would like to work with. So we thank you, Nicholas, for this. Um, Gamble, is your spokesman's per party ready? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Uh, we are task pass force number two, and we are formed by team number one and team number two. Pair 14, pair 8, 18, pair 16, and pair 15. So here we go. Um, last, yesterday, we already have a meeting, and we already have some conclusion. We, we decide to focus our question on privacy. So. Basically, the most basic question is what is privacy, and here we, here we come to the first question of the meaning of the privacy, and the application of privacy, and the crisis of the privacy, and how to protect us from the stolen privacy. So, we already have a division, uh, we already divide our group into different tasks. Later, uh, later, my teammate and I will introduce our uh, task. Uh, to be more specific. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is task force number, number, number two. Number two, that's task force number two, working on the issues of privacy. Okay, that's very exciting. Oh boy, I'm so much confident with the two task forces working at this point. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Not yet. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. It's all right if you're not ready, organize yourself. Remember, we are going to stop the task force base sharing in 10 minutes, all right? In 10 minutes. We got to be very sensitive of the time we have in class, and it's very important that when you put together in class, you know what to handle, all right? So, it's your task force way now, Mr. Yeah. Thank you. 
Number three. <laughs> yeah, speak into it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very clear, very concise. And we know that information fraud, it's the core topic from task force number three. So the next task force, winner, are you ready? Thank you. This is task force number three. Thank you, everyone. We are task force number Number five, uh, we are we are uh, consist of team four and team A, which means uh, pair ten, pair twelve, pair thirteen, and pair seventeen. Uh, our topic is about hacking and cracking. The first question comes is, uh, what is the definition and the difference between hacking and cracking? Because many people uh, can uh, many people don't know what is cracking means and what is different about hacking and cracking. Exactly, they are totally different things. Second one is, what are the common te techniques that hackers always use uh, to hack on our computers? The third, the last one is, how can I protect our PC from hacking? That's all. That's very good, very good. <laughs> so, so far we have the following topics. Computer crimes, privacy, right? and information fraud as well as this is uh, hacking and cracking so they're very much closely related are you ready you can okay that's good it's task force number um, uh, we are task force one uh, we are from 
pair three, pair one, pair eight, and pair four. We are going to uh, do the information plot. Uh, our details is about what is information plot, how do the plot starts the plot starts. We would like to provide some cases that uh, and give us some uh, uh, more details thanks uh, to to uh, to uh, let the others have well understanding about the topic. That's all. That's good enough. Thank you very much. Now, so we have two task force working on the topic information fraud. That would be great. That's okay. Now. Let me give you 10 minutes time to organize yourself when you come up again. Today, make it simple. What you need to do when you come up again as a task force, it's for you to introduce each member of the task force. And if you're already in a role, for example, who is the coordinator, who is the secretary, who is the liaison member, you can also mention them. All right? So we just have a line up of the pictures of the task force. And the spokesperson is going to stand here with the microphone. The other person will be seated. And when you introduce them, they will just stand up and then say hi. All right? All right? So it's very simple today. All right? In about five minutes' time, we're going to invite each task force to like the member. All right? You might want to have one team on this side, the other team on the other side. All right? It's technically difficult to start this kind of group work in class the first time, but you will enjoy it as we step into it because you know, we're going to help you to work together. Look at the number of computers we have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Eight computer. Four. Then we have all the devices. That's great.
叫佢買做佢交易，即係中到佢上邊可揾嘅開始先呢個個差唔多啊。上邊分最多放聲，最多追，追佢個個點樣可以打低啲？
On the other side, please be seated. All right. <laughs> this room is large enough, so it will be great. <laughs> oh yes, I'm sorry. One more chair is needed. Yeah, yeah. That's good enough. Uh, this is. This is task force number two, and uh, we are formed by team number one, team number two, and team number one. So here we go. I'm Gambo. Let me let me introduce myself first. I'm Gambo, and I'm the coordinator of our group. And we are going to introduce each one uh, from camera. You can just say there. Oh. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do the application, positive application. Uh, we are a pair and we are going to do the uh, positive application of privacy. Right, thank you. Thank you, Star. You can just stand over there yet, so all right, good enough. Thank you, Gabriella. All right. Okay. And I focus on the definition and categories in information privacy. Thank you.
Okay, thank you very much. Now, you've done a very good job to introduce yourself and your respective tasks, and I thank you very much. I'm looking forward to your next bridge sharing. Okay, organize yourself. So, which task force is the next task force? It's your task force ready, Nicholas? Okay. Help yourself, gentlemen. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Craig. Um, I work with my partner to like some examples of computer crime. Thank you very much. Some people in this year of year 19, and this has almost took my life, so I don't have much to talk. So we in IT, we have tackled the issue of the definition of computer crime. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, my name is Steve. This is my partner, Danny. Uh, our, uh, we are here so we are here part. And our version is uh, so bad to be to come to the Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we got a very good positive response and then very good indeed. Now, uh, which one is the next task force to share? Are you ready, winner? Yes. Oh, okay. 
Kevin and Kevin. We also have Finner and uh, and Matt. They are the coordinator, and we have these five jobs and uh, five yes. And and then we have destroyed the question into four part and then. And my pair, I and Michelle, we will talk about the how hacker come from, and then uh, your, what is your question? How how can we protect our PC from being hacked? Okay, how can we protect our PC from being hacked? Okay, the common okay. techniques and the we use. Uh, Vina and Our topic is what the position of difference between hiking and writing. Oh, that's good. And this is my team. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to your next week's sharing. Now, you could be very creative when you come up here and line up and the order in which you're going to share is really up to you. So I think I have full trust in all of you. All right. So which task force is going to come next? We have two left. Um, are you ready? Ken? Yes. The whole task force come up. That's great. Yes. We have two sides, okay? Enough chairs. We are we are going to do the topic which is information for uh, the uh, the leader is empty. I'm the secretary of the Information collector is Sonia and Joe and Joey. Okay. The editor is Irish Johnson uh William uh Raymond is absent today. Alright. Yes. Uh, we are going uh, we are going to do four parts of the topic. The first one is credit card fraud. Number the second one is money charts for fraud. The first one is purchase fraud. The the fourth one is charity fault. We are we are set, uh, separate for uh, for uh, four pairs and do the do the uh, these four parts uh, respectively. Um, there are Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your excellent sharing. So the last task force over there.
Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's very good. So we thank you very much for your task force work. So it's very exciting, and all are a little bit disorganized this time, but you will get used to them, all right? So allow me to say thank you very much for each task force and for each member of the task force who are willing to work hard to learn this very interesting style of classroom management. Definitely, your teamwork do not just happen in class. You have to do quite a number of work outside the classroom. Now, remember, you have the Passport forward, okay? You also have a wiki. Um, I hope you make the best use of the wiki to keep records in the work. Starting from, we're well, going to say tomorrow morning, the wiki will be ready. I'm going to install all of you in the wiki. But for the forum, later on this evening, it should be okay. Okay, allow me to remind you. Now, you have enough material on your table to keep track of them in your meeting minute. You should be able to finish your first meeting minute before the end of this Saturday so that you will have a good record. And you should start working with your wiki by designing into your wiki some space for your task force, two spaces for the two teams, eight spaces for the uh, four spaces for the four peers, and then eight spaces for the eight people who are there. Okay, and then once you know what to do based on the meeting minute, you need to individually, pairwise and teamwise, go to fill up your space in the wiki. And remember, you need to come up with four specific questions underneath your task force topic. And remember, you need to assign at least one pair of members to each of the four questions. All right? And then I'm looking forward to your next with Sherry, and I hope you will be much more creative to organize your time, you do not need to waste time unnecessarily. So allow me to give you attendance for now, and then I'll let you go, all right? It's going to be exciting. Johnson is here. You don't, thank you. Star, thank you, you can. Yes, Terry is not here today. Uh, Iris, Iris, thank you. Andy, thank you. Christina is not here today, right? Okay. And then Terry, are you here? Not here, all right. Gabriella, thank you. Uh, Sonia, thank you. Tina, thank you. Cleo, Cleo, thank you. Joey, thank you. Winnie, thank you. Shoei, uh, thank you. Danny, Danny. Thank you. Sorry, okay. Nicholas is here. Galar, thank you. All right, Drew, thank you. Kareem, Kareem is not here today. Okay, and then Ming Xian, thank you. Uh, Louise, thank you. Raymond, Raymond is not here today, right? Steve, Zhao, thank you. And then Levine. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. 
the second page. So Serenia, thank you. Muffin, thank you. Fred, thank you. Michelle, thank you. Fatima, thank you. Heidi, thank you. Karen, thank you. Erica, thank you. Yoga, thank you. Gambo, thank you. Winda, thank you. And then Ada, thank you. Steve Chen, thank you. Gia, thank you. Good. Khan, thank you. Hannah, thank you. All right. So we just have two students missing, three. All right, take a good break and ask me questions if you're ready. All right, so it's wonderful to have me here. The most difficult thing is setting things on track. But now it's getting good. All right, um, I'm going to give you back the score for learning content number one from today to tomorrow, and you should get all of the score, all right? Now the next questions, when you're going to share next week, remember you have two time to share. What are you going to share? You need to have a plan now. Have a good meeting to talk among your members. What are you going to share next week? Definitely, I'm expecting four questions. I'm expecting the peers responsible for each question. I'm expecting a little bit of the OIA and a little bit of the collaborations. Okay? And these are things that you, you want to do, all right? Basically, the common activity is to come up with the OIA of your questions and share that with your learning partner, or better say the partner in your pair, all right? You are coming up with a story to tell about a topic, all right? And each one of you has a side of the story, and so we are looking forward to the stories of the crime, the story of privacy, the story of information fraud, the stories of hacking and cracking. And what do you discover? How do you put them together? All right, so let's see. specific three-part series on online job application scam will be wonderful for you. We do not have time to do more. Six minutes will be great. For months now, many Americans have watched helplessly as their jobs and bank accounts have vanished. And too many are falling prey to scam artists who promise easy money in these desperate times. Well, Chris Hansen now investigates how to help you steer clear of these dangers that can trigger even greater financial disaster. We've investigated a number of scams where you feel badly for the victims, but you kind of wonder, did they see this coming? Well, when you see this, you may instead think, gosh, that could have been This scam is smooth, complex, and given these tough times, devastating to the people in its situation. Another major sell-off on Wall Street. The headlines seem to get worse every day. The Dow was down to 1997 luck at the economy in a nosedive. We have lost 3.6 million jobs in this country. Unemployment and Frederick Hahn. First time blame for jobless benefits surged by 7%. In the middle of it all, internet criminals are now targeting people desperate to find jobs. Officials warn the scam is spreading nationwide. Game. Often with devastating consequences for honest, hardworking families. I give you a pair of good lessons. Carol Browning is a single mom, raising a son, a daughter, and a granddaughter. She has a full-time job, a house in a nice neighborhood, but now she's at risk of losing it all. And I try not to let them see what I'm going through or see me crying or worrying about it. But that's got to be stressful. Yes. Carol got caught up in one of the biggest scams sweeping the country. 
As you listen to her story step by step, ask yourself, would you have done anything differently? It all began just before Christmas when Carol was searching online for ways to make some extra money. She spotted an ad for what sounded like a perfect part-time job. And then was saying, do you like shopping? Be a mystery shopper. Do you like shopping? Yeah. <laughs> mystery shoppers are paid by retailers to test whether sales staffs are polite and helpful. So Carol signed up online before long about this letter with instructions. It all looked legit. A company name, Mystery Shoppers PLC, an address in New York City, even a toll-free number she had to call for training before she could start. Her assignment? Shop at a local Walmart to test how helpful the staff is. Then, evaluate the service at Western Union by wiring money to another Mystery Shopper in a different state. The amount to transfer? Just over $3,000. The company told Carol she didn't have to worry about the money. They'd send a check, enough to cover her shopping trip to Walmart, a big Western Union transfer, and her pay for doing the job. In all, a check for $3,850. Did you wonder for a minute, maybe, how did this be too good to be true? I think it. Carol got the check all right, but she was cautious. So before she did anything else, she said she took the check to a teller at her local bank. She went in. And she told me, yeah, good to that's good. You can get that test to your money tomorrow. And I said, you sure? She said, yes, and not seven day old on it. She said, no, it's clear. Thinking things were on the up and up, Carol followed the instructions. She deposited the check, went through the money from her account, went to Western Union, and wired $3,100 to a company contact in Kansas. Everything seemed fine until a week later. Carol says she tried to fill up with gas. Her debit card linked to her personal checking account was rejected. She tried an ATM nearby. And it looked like they said insufficient funds. Insufficient funds. This was only for twenty dollars. So you had nothing in your checking account. Nothing. Turns out that big check was no good. Even though Carol thought she checked it out, even though her bank gave her the money, it turned out to be a sophisticated counterfeit. You may be surprised to learn that in cases like that, a bank can still reverse the deposit and hold you responsible. That's exactly what was happening to Carol. Pulled their account up and told me that I was overdrawn three thousand five hundred and some dollars, and I said, "What? That's a lot of money. I'd like to turn it upside down because I mean, I think you never cried." And I asked the man in the bank, I said, check again because th this this got to be real. He said, yes, ma'am, the check has been recalled and you got to cover the check. In effect, Carol had wired the company's money, she sent her own, draining her bank account. And the bad news got even worse. The bank said the regular checks Carol had already written for her mortgage, her car, her utilities, all were bouncing. What's more, when her weekly paycheck from her regular job was direct deposited in her account, the bank seized it to help pay off the debt. I was just devastated. I was just trying to figure out what am I going to do? How am I going to come up with this? What did you do when you got home? I got some of my jewelry, my rings and bracelets. I took them to my shop and I found them. We wondered, with so many people out of work nowadays, how many cases like Carol's are out there? How much money is being stolen? And who's behind the job scam? Are cheating Americans looking for honest work. Join us as we go online and undercover, applying for jobs, and taking you inside the scams. Coming up, a single mom who thought she found a great job online, a payroll clerk. Did we print these checks? Did they look real? Yes, they could. I have one. And your name, would you like to say? And promises, promises continue. I, I advise your GoFundMe to continue to watch this free box series. It's a very, very interesting but very real life situation. You thought you were doing a job, but because the private information of your bank account is involved, and you somehow do not know. Interesting trail of all these kind of legitimate websites, and so Americans desperate, you got caught up in the way that people keep drawing money 
from your account even use of your overdraft amount. And you become the person who's going to pay back. You never know who took the money away. It's a very interesting piece just a couple of years ago. Okay, that's it for today. And I hope that with all your information, computer crime, information fraud, hacking and cracking, these are very good topic for you. All right, I see you back here on Monday. And hopefully you have a good time working together again. All right? See you.